We gather in this city of brotherly love to reaffirm our values before our nation and the whole world. This election is about who will have the power to shape our children for the next four or eight years of their lives. This election is about which candidate understands the real problems facing this country and has offered real solutions. On one side is a man who cares only for himself. On the other side is a woman who fights for children, for women, for health care, for human rights. A woman who fights for all of us. Advocating for kids with disabilities as a young lawyer, fighting for children's health care as first lady. Hillary Clinton understands that if someone works 40 hours a week, that person should not be living in poverty. Hillary will fight for debt-free college. And she knows that we can be a nation that both believes police officers deserve more respect and believes that a black 20-something-year-old protester deserves to be valued. The issues a president faces are not black and white and cannot be boiled down to 140 characters. When you have the nuclear codes at your fingertips, you can't have a thin skin or a tendency to lash out. You need to be steady. This election must be about bringing our people together, not dividing us up. That is the story of this country, the story that has brought me to this stage tonight. The story of generations of people who felt the lash of bondage, the shame of servitude, the sting of segregation, but who kept on striving and hoping and doing what needed to be done so that today I wake up every morning in a house that was built by slaves and I watch my daughters, two beautiful, intelligent black young women playing with their dogs on the White House lawn. And because of Hillary Clinton, my daughters and all our sons and daughters now take for granted that a woman can be president of the United States. Hillary Clinton must become the next president of the United States. Don't let anyone ever tell you that this country isn't great. That somehow we need to make it great again. Because this right now, is the greatest country on earth.